All right, everyone, we're, we're starting on our last problem of this section. And so here's the problem, and we're going to tackle part A first, and then, then part B. So um, let x equal p disjoint union n um, be a uh, Hondi composition with respect to nu. I'm not going to write all that out. You, you know what I mean here. Okay, so... Um, now, let E be an element of script M, um, and then nu plus V is equal to, what is this? This is just nu of E intersected with P, and this is less than or equal to the supremum overall nu F's, such that F is an element of M, F subset E. Uh, note here we've got another typo. Um, okay, so that takes care of uh, this inequality. Um, for the other one, if F subset E is measurable, then F intersected with P is obviously a subset of E intersected with P, so new F equal to new f intersect p plus new f intersect n. This is less than or equal to new of f intersect p because new is negative on n. And this is less than or equal to new of e intersect p because this is a subset of this. And we're in the positive region. Um, but then this is just new plus of e. Um, so actually, maybe a little better way of writing this would have been to write that this is equal to nu plus of f, and that's less than or equal to nu plus of e. And there it's clear that we're using the fact that nu plus is a positive measure. And then taking the supremum over all such f yields um, soup overall mu sub f. Um, I'll just say f subset e here. This is less than or equal to nu plus of e. Hence, equality holds. And that's because we've um, figured out that the inequality holds in both directions. Um, uh, then, as for nu minus, we have now nu minus of e. This is equal to negative nu of e intersect n, because this is a positive measure. Um, so this is less than or equal to negative the infimum overall nu f, f subset of e. And this is because um, this thing here is going to be, th this particular thing is going to be um, greater than or equal to the infimum of all such um, things of this type. And so when you put in negative signs, the sign flips. Um, and then um, next, if f is a subset of e, then obviously f intersect n is a subset of e intersected with n. So nu of f, what is this? This is equal to nu. Nu's are the worst to write. Nu of f intersect p plus nu of f intersect n. This is greater than or equal to nu of f intersect n because nu is positive on p. And this is, um, let's do this again. We've got this is equal to nu minus of f, negative nu minus of f, and that's going to be greater than or equal to negative nu minus of e um, because we get the reverse inequality if we, because nu minus of f is less than or equal to nu minus of e because nu minus is positive, and so putting in the negatives flips the sign again. 
So you see there's a lot of like sign issues that we have to deal with here, but um, we're doing all right. So we've got this. So new minus e is less than or equal to negative new f because we just took what we had here, this is greater than or equal to this, and we just flipped the signs again. Let's make that look a little nicer. Okay, so this means that new minus of e is less than or equal to the supremum over all negative new f's such that f is a subset of e and that's just because um, we're taking the supremum over all of these things. Um, but now remember how supremums and infimums work when you're moving around the sign. This is equal to minus infimum, and then we bring the sign, we brought this sign outside here. And so this is minus infimum of nu of f such that f is a subset of e, hence equality holds. And that finishes part A. So that finishes part A. Let's do part B. All right, part B. So for this, again, we want to do an equality in both directions. So one of these is easy. Um, let's write first um, the supremum overall. I'm going to write this 1 to n of new ej, such that I'm just going to write new plus 1 to n ej equals e. Um, and of course, this, um, in particular, this means pairwise disjoint um, union, and so that is just a small, uh, more compact notation, notation. So this is greater than or equal to. Um, let's choose a particular um, such uh, collection of the EJs and write it out. And so um, one would be uh, just looking at P and N. So nu of E intersect P plus nu of E intersect N. And so this is just nu plus of E plus, and then if we want to be really explicit, it's negative nu minus of E in absolute value. But then this is just nu plus of E plus nu minus of E, which is equal to have, um, the total variation of nu of E. Conversely, let E equal the disjoint union of 1 to n ej um, for some collection of ejs. Then nu of E is equal to nu of this disjoint union. And because this is disjoint, we can write this as the sum of the new ej's, this is equal to the sum from 1 to n of, what is this? This is just nu plus ej plus nu minus, uh, nu's, nu minus ej. And this is certainly greater than or equal to 1 to n nu plus ej minus nu minus EJ, and that's just by, um, that's the triangle inequality, but I wrote it backwards. And this is equal to the sum from 1 to n of nu of EJ. And so, taking the supremum, over all such collections EJ from 1 to n, yields that total variation of E is greater than or equal to the supremum for all sum 1 to n, norm nu ej, 
where E is equal to disjoint union 1 to N of EJ. Thus, equality holds. And this completes the proof. And we are done with the first section of um, exercises in chapter 3.